Hello, I'm Graham Lewis and here's a short video on generating the nChooseR or nCR formula. So I'm going to start off with considering expanding a plus b to the power of 4. So I need the fifth line, because remember it starts at n equals 0, so the fifth line, 2, 3, 4, the fifth line, n equals 4 of Pascal's triangle. And I'm just going to write down what it is. It's going to be a 1, a to the 4, plus the next coefficient is 4, and I need a cubed b going down 1 power in the a and increasing b by 1 power, plus 6 is the next coefficient, drop down a power, so a squared and increase the b by 1 power, next coefficient 4, in decrease the a by 1 power and increase the b by 1 power, and finally 1, b to the 4. Now, is there another way? Because obviously, if I had to do a plus b to the power of 10, it would get very tedious because I'd have to find the, the 11th row of Pascal's triangle because a plus b to the 10 is the 11th row. So is there a way to find these numbers without having to write Pascal's triangle? And the answer, of, of course, is yes. And a nice way to explain it is actually from probability. So if you watch my previous video, uh, an earlier video on... Um, how to uh, count n items in a line, that's the clue. So if we consider a cubed b, now a cubed b, if we write it out, is a, 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 b. How many different ways are there of arranging a, 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 b? So if you remember, we've got four items, so if they were all different, there'd be four factorial divided by three items of the same, three factorial cancelling out there to leave you with the correct coefficient 4. Let's see if it works for the coefficient 6, a squared, b squared. So now I've got a squared, b squared, which is of course a, a, b, b. How many ways are there of arranging a, a, b, b? So here we go. Imagine they're all different, so that would be 4 factorial because I've got 4 items in total. But I have 2 a's, so it's divided by 2 factorial. And I've got 2 b's divided by 2 factorial. And let's work this out. This is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, over 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. Those 2 times 1's cancel. This 2 times 1 is a 2, which cancels the 4 to give me a 2, giving me 2 times 3, and 6 ways. And lo and behold, we've got our answer. So let's just think what happens here. We only have two options, A and B, and that's the key. We don't have many things now. We've got A and B. So if we have four items all together, and three of them are A's, here, three are A's, then the B has to be 4 minus the three A's. So I've got 1B. Equally, if I've got four items and two of them are A's, the B's have to be 4 minus 2, two B's has to be. So let's consider that. So. If we consider 5 choose 2, which sometimes you see as 5 choose 2 on a calculator, um, it means we have 5 items in total, and 2 of them are the same. Now, because we only have 2 different items, A and B, if 2 are the same, then of course 5 minus 2, 3 must be the same. So we can get the answer for 5 choose 2 really nice and easily. 5, imagine they're all different, which they're not, but let's imagine they're all different. So 5 factorial, because we only have A's and B's. Um, 2 of them have to be the same. 5 choose 2, so 2 of them are the same. But if 2 of them are the same, then if I have 2 A's, for example, I have to have 3 B's. So 3 B's have to be the same. And we get the answer for 5 choose 2, which is 5 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial, which we can simplify to... 5 times 4 over 2, which is 5 times 2, which is 10, giving us the correct answer. Now let's try another one. Let's try 7 choose 4. If we do 7 choose 4, imagine all your a's and b's are different, they're not, but let's imagine, so this is if you're expanding a plus b to the 7. Um, a plus b to the 7, and I want the, the coefficient 7 choose 4. So imagine they're all different, so 7 factorial over... Four of them are the same, so imagine if I had four A's, and that must mean I have three B's. So four factorial, and then I've got to write here seven minus four, 
factorial, which is of course 3 factorial. But you can see how I'm doing this because we want to generate a formula. And if we simplify 7 factorial over 4 factorial, 3 factorial, uh, the 4 factorial will cancel leaving with 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 factorial, 3 factorial is 6, so I end up with 7 times 5, so 35 different ways. You can, of course, use your calculator. Now, of course, the number of ways of arranging 4a's and 3b's is, of course, identical to 3a's and 4b's, which is why we have the symmetry in Pascal's triangle. So going back to Pascal's triangle, and if we're looking there at the sixth row when n equals 5, when we're expanding a plus b to the power of 5, the first one, we consider as 5, choose 0. The next term is 5, choose 1. The next term is 5, choose 2. The next term is 5, choose 3. 5, choose 4. And 5, choose 5. Of course, because Pascal's triangle is symmetrical, you could equally consider this as 5, choose 5. This one is 5, choose 4. This one is 5, choose 3, this is 5 choose 2, this is 5 choose 1, and this is 5 choose 0 because of the symmetry. And of course that comes about because you only have A and B. So of course if you have um, 3 A's and 2 B's, that's the same way of arranging 2 A's and 3 B's. There's the same number of ways. So you can think of it as 5 choose 3, which might be counting the A's there, of 5 choose 2 if you count the A's in that one, and clearly they're the same. So if we consider 5 choose 3, I think we're all getting good at this now. We think of 5 different items, so 5 factorial are all different, 3 of them are the same. So if 3 of them are the same, the other 2 have to be the same. 5 minus 3 factorial. Because if I've got 3 A's, I have to have 2 B's, 5 minus 3. So now let's think about finding a formula for N choose R. Now, n choose r, imagine they're all different, n factorial, there's the n factorial there. r of them are the same, so I need to divide by r factorial. Now, how many have I got left over? Well, I've got n items, r are the same, I only have a's and b's, so I must have n minus r are also the same. So this must be an n minus r factorial, which matches beautifully beautifully with the 5 minus 3 factorial there. Thank you for watching. That's a quick video on where the formula for n choose r comes from. Now, if you're interested in watching another one of my videos, uh, one that you might be interested in if you like this one, is actually looking at the nr notation and how that comes about and how it's actually a more powerful notation than n choose r. Thank you.